I did a tutorial some time ago when the Surface Tracker was first introduced to DaVinci Resolve, and back then it was only available on the color page which confused a lot of people that wanted to do simple stuff like tracking text. Spoiler alert. You still had to dive into Fusion a little to add a second source for your text, and then plug that into the color page sources. I'll put a link to the video covering that method in the description below. But now the Surface Tracker is directly available as a Fusion node, so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial about doing it that way. One more thing before we get into it, in case you're wondering, this isn't me speaking. I had an AI do it because it's just a good excuse to play with AI. I hope it isn't too annoying. <laughs> so I've got our trusty slow motion cap from the first video, and I'm going to get that set up just how I like it for my title sequence, by making it a lot less slow motion, and trimming the length of the clip. Now select the clip and open it in the Fusion page. I'm just going to rename my, uh, my clip to Cat. And then with the clip selected, press Shift and Space to bring up the tool search and type Surface. And select the Surface Tracker. Then grab a Text Plus node, plug that into the Surface Tracker, and set up your title how you want it. I'm just going to fast forward through this, because I'm sure you don't need me to show you how to change the text. And you probably hate bloated tutorial videos as much as I do. Okay, back to our surface tracker. Set your bounds to the area where you want your text to go. You can move it to anywhere in your clip to set the bounds accurately. It all depends on how the surface appears in your clip. In the mesh tab, you're probably going to want to increase the points a little for a more accurate track. If it's a fairly rigid surface, you might not need to. Obviously, the more points, the longer it'll take to analyze. And in the track tab, I'm going to set the quality to better. Now, here's the same pro tip I gave in the previous video about giving your surface track a more contrast to work with when it's analyzing, just adapted for the Fusion page. Select your clip mode. Go into the tool search and choose the color corrector mode so it sits between your clip and the tracker. We're just going to use this temporarily so it doesn't matter if our colors go weird. We're just looking to do it more contrast. You'll probably mostly want to mess around with the contrast, gain and lift to do that. So, back at our surface tracker, you're ready to hit track forward and back. And wait. A few moments later. So we can do away with our color corrector mode now. Just select it. And hit delete or backspace. So now, we just need to get the text all lined up nicely with our track surface. Go over to the Results tab, and it's probably wise in the overlay placement to hit Go to Reference, to select the frame you were working with when you created the bounds. I personally prefer using the sliders for much more accurate control. All I really need to do in this case is zoom and rotate my text a bit to get it just where I want it. If you are going to use interactive canvas mode, then you're going to want your text on your text node to pretty much fill the screen, because the canvas you're pinning is the same size as your clip. The easiest way is simply to crank up the size slider, and basically, you're done. You can lead now, although if you stick around, I'll show you a few other things you can do. You can also choose how the text gets composited over your clip and the tracker, so have a play around with those. Soft light will really help sell, but this text is written on the cat's fur. And you can always add to your composition, so I might want to give my text a bit of noise because it's on fur. So I can plug a fast noise node into the mask of the text mode. I'll bring that up in the first viewer, then scale it to about 100 and increase the detail until I get a slightly mottled effect. And I think that's looking pretty great. Our cat is now fully banded up. But why stop there? I think maybe I'll give the text a bit of a magical glow. So I'm going to select my text node and add a soft glow node right after and play around until I get something I like to make it stand out more. I won't bore you with the details, it's all very much a matter of personal taste and seeing what suits your click. 
But now I'm going to make our magic glowing banded cat even more magical by adding a prism blur to the clip, which I'll do after the surface tracker, so it affects the whole scene. Again, what you add and where you add it is very much up to you, and doing it all in fusion probably gives you more flexibility overall than the color page method. So here you go, after all that fiddling around, here's our final, probably over-engineered, magical, glowing, prison-blurred, branded cat video. And one final thought for the day, don't try and use a chat GPT-style AI that can ad-lib or just completely decide to do its own thing for your tutorial voiceovers. This has honestly been an absolute f***ing nightmare.